Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the full review of the Tech Class T40 Pro tablet along with its tablet case as well. So let's get right into the review. All right, so first talking about the build quality of the tablet, it's actually decent. Uh, it's fairly high quality metal. Uh, it feels that way at least. Um, so it's a fairly decent build quality. There's not a lot of flex in the tablet. However, it is very, very heavy because this tablet is not a massive tablet by any means. It's actually fairly small, but um, it's fairly small for a 10 inch tablet at least, but it's actually a pretty heavy tablet. And there are lighter tablets out there like the Vast King KingPad M10, I believe. That's probably at least 20, 30% lighter than this tablet over here. But that being said, this has a very good build quality. Um, it is fairly heavy, so if you're someone who doesn't like heavy tablets, it's probably not for you. And over top here, we have the power button, volume button, as well as your USB-C. And over here, we have, well, nothing over here actually. And then we have two speakers as well as a SIM slot over here. And, oops, and then as well as two more speakers over here as well. The tablet itself is fairly thin. It's not super thick, which is nice to hold. Um, but yeah, otherwise not much else to talk about here. Okay, and just looking at the bezels of the tablet first, they are not too big, not too small. I think they are pretty much the perfect balance between holdability of the tablet as well as them not being too big so they're not too ugly. I don't think you can make these any smaller before you start interfering with holding it and then it starts, see see what I mean? Then you start touching the screen and interfering with the actual use of the tablet. So I think this is about as thin as they can make it at least for a 10 inch tablet. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the case. The case is not included. It's an extra about $30, I believe, for the tablet. Um, it's reminiscent of these um, of those iPad cases. So if you have a three sections rubber flap over here. On the top, it's rubbery material. And then you flip it over here, and this is more like a fabric type material that's gonna pick up dirt very easily and it's gonna get stained easily as well. So if you're someone who, you might wanna, I don't know, like you probably can't, cannot get another case other than this, but you know, just be careful because the inside of this is fabricy. It feels really nice to touch, but it's gonna get dirty very, very fast. And then this part over here is um, rubber. It's a little bit tough, or not tough, it's a little bit stiff and the feel is fairly decent as well. It doesn't feel like it's gonna pick up grime, which is actually in stark contrast to this part over here. So let's put the tablet in. And the good thing about the tablet, as well as the case, is that it actually protects it. So let me show you what I mean. So that's what I mean right there. You'll notice that there's a lip on all sides, that way that if you drop the tablet or you put it, on the ground, the lip is actually touching the ground and not the tablet. So it's about two millimeters, three millimeters, and that's about as much as you want for a tablet case. The good thing about the tablet case is that it's, um, it actually turns on the tablet when you open it like that, as you can see, and then if you close it, it'll actually turn the tablet screen off as well. So you can see right there, it turns it on when you lift it up, and then when you put it back like that, it turns it off. So that's actually very nice, very convenient. You basically never have to use the power button. And I very, very much like this functionality. It actually makes tablets a lot more enjoyable to use instead of having to you know, hunt around for the power button. You just kind of open the case or the flap and bam, your tablet is ready to go. So with the case, um, it actually folds into this triangle shape. And that way you're able to put the tablet into two orientations. The first one is like this. And then the second one is you fold it down and then it becomes something like that. Okay, last thing I'll say about the tablet before we move on to uh, more things about the actual tablets. Um, I think you should get this with the tablets. Um, I'm not trying to sell you on something, but uh, it is very useful. And I do think you need a case, preferably a case that actually turns on the tablet for you. Um, because it actually just makes the experience so much more enjoyable. I actually use this a lot more than my other keyboard tablets as well um, at this point, because this is just so nice to use. This is, you guys underestimate this, or you might underestimate having a case that turns your tablet on and off for you, but that is a huge advantage. All right, so I've showed you a little bit about this tablet in my unboxing uh, video, which you can see uh, in the uh, description above, or sorry, in the links above. Um, the screen itself is very, is okay. It's not great. It's not 
really amazing. It's not very high definition. Um, colors aren't super saturated. All in all, it's a screen that is acceptable to, I would say, 94% of people with the 6% of people wanting a very high resolution screen um, for, I don't know for what reason, or an extremely colorful screen for gaming or something like that. But for me, this is good enough. The most important thing, of course, is the brightness of the screen. It gets decently bright. As you can see, as you can see it's kind of washed out in the video because the camera can't, cannot actually take how bright it is. It's about 350 nits. And then, of course, you can turn it down and up as well. Um, this is also not a high ref refresh rate tablet. It's at 60 hertz, so basically pretty, pretty normal stuff over here. But otherwise, it still feels very good to touch. Um, I have been playing a little, a little bit of Genshin and a little bit of Hearthstone, but I've been playing Bloons actually the most. So um, I'll show you a little bit all about that uh, in a minute. But first, I'll show you some nice screenshots just, just to showcase what you're going to get with the color of the screen as well as the audio. And as you can see, the colors here are okay. They're, you know, this is not an OLED screen, it's an LCD, so it's not going to have those really saturated, punchy colors that you're going to get. Resolution is okay. I mean, it is a 10 inch tablet, so even if it's 1080p resolution, you might be able to tell a difference if you're going to like an iPad with a 2K resolution on this size of screen. But for what you get right now in this size of tablet, it's really, really, you know, it's it's more than good enough. Um, of course, the colors are probably where I would say it falls down more than the resolution. Resolution is not really that big an issue. The color is, you know, compared to like a, like an OLED screen, it's not like amazing. It's good enough. And then the brightness is about 350 nits, which again, you compare to like a, you know, Samsung Galaxy tab, this goes to like 600 nits. This is not very bright. It's bright enough for you to look at in direct sunlight, but it's going to be a little bit hard to see especially if you're into right sunlight. But otherwise, other than that, the uh, display is, um, is okay, passable for especially something at this price point. And just looking at the audio, the audio here is, they, you know, they talk about having four, four speakers, you know, there's like four um, holes for speakers and they talk about how you can have great stereo separation. Uh, it's not as good as they make it out to be. I mean, it's, it's like good enough, but it's really nothing it's not really a standout feature. Um, and especially for gaming, uh, if you're gaming on a tablet, you're probably not looking for great audio unless you plug in like, you know, earbuds, like gaming earbuds, which I actually got. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but something like that. But otherwise, the audio here is passable. It's decent, but uh, nothing special. So let's play this song and see how it goes. And audio is all the way down, which is why you can't hear anything. Okay, there we go. As you can hear, audio is, you know, fairly passable, but other than that, really not much else to talk about. So let's move on to battery life. Battery life here is about six to seven hours. If I'm playing games like Bloons, I'm down to four. So that's decent, I guess, but it's not like an amazing battery life. But if you're doing something that's not really gaming, because battery life here is going to take you throughout basically the whole day with almost no issue. If you're gaming, you're playing Bloons, for example, it's going to be like four hours. You're playing Genshin Impact, it's down to two hours. If you're playing Hearthstone, it's about four as well. Um, that's to be expected from gaming, though, because when you're gaming, you know, it's it's very high intensity on the processor, which is a unisock. But yeah, if you're going to get this for value life, again, it's passable. So like kind of like basically everything I said before, you know, build quality, display, audio, battery life is also something that's pretty average for the price point. But then again, you have to think about the price point you're getting this at as well. All right, so we talked about battery life already. We can talk more about the software. This is Android 11. And, um, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Android 11. And there we go, Android 11. And yep, it's a, it's a fairly snappy, snappy tablet. Um, works pretty well. Uh, basically anything I want to do, I can do it fairly well. You know, of course, gaming that works well. Wi-Fi is pretty fast. 
Um, Bluetooth works as well, so no questions there, no no no, no problems there. Um, watching videos, etc. Um, I would say that the UI of this is very stock. You know, you're you're looking stock Android, not much else, which is very nice because you know there's some manufacturers. There's it's it's less nowadays who put a bunch of crap on the um, the interface, but not anymore. So. As you can see, um, it works fairly well. And of course, the crowning achievement of this, or the crowning achievement of this advertising for this tablet is the gaming, which um, I've showed you before the Genshin Impact gameplay, which I'll show you in a little bit as well. You know, it works fairly well. Uh, you know, you, you do have to bump your settings down to a little bit lower just to get it to play, but otherwise it works. And then of course, I've been playing a lot of balloons, which is very, very fun. Um, I don't know if you guys, uh, if any of you guys play this game, but you know, it's, you know, you place monkeys on a, it's basically tower defense, but yeah, so it's, it's some, it's some good stuff because, um, it's a fun game and it works pretty well. Um, and of course, no problems at all. Of course, when you get into later levels, it starts chugging like crazy as well, because, um, there's so many balloons on the map that it just goes absolutely insane. Let me see if I can find you a map that I have saved and then I'll see if there's anything. There we go. So here's an example of an insane map. Like it's round 100, so it'll be crazy. So there we go. So look at that. See how it's like chugging? Because there's so much stuff going on in this game right now that it's just absolutely insane. Just keep going and going, going and going. And then you, you, you have no idea what happened. You just know that you didn't die this round and you just keep going. But as you can see, it still works pretty well even at round 100. Um, you know, it's processing so much stuff on the screen and off the screen as well in terms of damage, DPS, pierce, you know, special effects, etc. But yeah, but yeah, I would say otherwise gaming on this tablet is pretty good as well. So, yep. All right, and we're talking about the camera here. The camera here is, it's not very good. I mean, it's like decent enough, but it'll be good enough for like Zoom or something like that. But if you're looking to take pictures of this, like you have your smartphone, just use that. Why are you using this for a camera? All right, and that's all I have to say about that. Okay, so what do I think about this tablet? So what we have here is actually a very mediocre tablet. You know, sure it has decent build quality, doesn't flex very much, but it's also very, very heavy. So it's not, not really a lot of thought or engineering has been put into this to make it light. The screen is not amazing. It's, you know, average passable. The audio is not very amazing. It's average passable. The power is actually fairly decent because it's got a Unisoc T618 in it. So the power is there for you to game at, you know, low settings for the most intense games. Battery life is also pass. So <laughs> this is a average tablet. But what makes this special is the price. Right now you can get it for about 190 US dollars, I believe. And I believe if you add the case, it actually adds an extra three bucks of the price. So like 190 to 193 or 192 to 195. But yeah, you, this for three bucks is an absolute no brainer. You know, absolutely get it if it's that cheap, if it's just three bucks, get, get that, no problem. But yeah, so check this in the description down below. Do I recommend this at the price? Yes, I do, because it is very, very cheap. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and have a good one.